Bruin and Kewin. Yeah. Well we're Kewin and we're Bruin. <laughs> so there we are. We're we're with the great combination. Okay. Um uh, somebody's gonna have to pour because I now have to hold my phone. All right, don't right, worry about Yeah. Clean that in there. Because that's what we're cleaning today. That's good. Oh, it's real clear. Is that another one? Yep, that's uh, Bruin and Kewin. What's the, uh, Win what was that? Windsor? Uh, yeah, Windsor. Windsor, Windsor, Windsor Ale. A little heavy here, yeah, I think so. Probably not even Windsor. Yeah. Sure. Is this, is this Windsor by the same uh, fermenter? Uh, yeah. That I don't know. I don't know. The, uh, Yeah. A little lighter than some of the others, too. Picking up some, like, fruity yesterday. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it's definitely fruity in some way. Yeah. It's fruitier than the others. Yeah. I'd say that's probably second in fruity. It's usually the one that's the most in the end. Yeah. Second. Yeah, I, I, I tend to have this in the fruities. So more than more than one that uh, might. Yeah. Really? I feel like the higher end is that much more um, in your face for anything. Yeah, it's too, just it's a little it's kind of medium. Sort of like mangoes and that kind of fruit, or yeah. a bit more citrusy. Yeah, I get more fruity. Yeah, no, like no, no, more mangoey. Much malty, and hop, soft, and okay. soft fruity. Slight hop, but mostly fruity. What yeast was this again? Mm. It was Windsor? Windsor. Windsor yeast. I get a lot of fruit in this. Yeah, I'm getting it on the on the palate too. Yeah. Yes. I think it has a lot more effect than the beer than some of the others. Yeah. A lot more effect than the beer than some of the others. And some of the others have a little thin body a lot than some of the others. So they yeah. stood back a little bit. Yeah. Feels like and I am getting that lingering back bitterness. Yeah. Not as much, but it's yeah. It's quite, yeah, so it's more yeah, like so I think compared to yours, it's very um, very similar, a slightly less fruitiness, but close. Uh, a little less body, um, but otherwise very, very similar. Okay. Yeah? Are putting the green on that? Mm. All right. No stinkers yet. No stinkers. Wow. I, I didn't think you like this one. Your, hon your honesty is what I need, and, you know, um, <clears throat> I don't have to put it on there, though. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> but, you know, maybe the brew is not a bad beer, but I wouldn't drink it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's more than one judge. You can get you can get these judges and it's not like there's gods of fear, right? Some judge who judged a thousand times and knows everything. Like doesn't like it here, doesn't like it. Like different styles anyway. It's subjective. Yeah. Uh, that's what it is. And then you get a judge, you get somebody who wrote a ton of books. Well, there are technical factors and then there are subjective factors, right? Sure, I mean, you, but you can get a guy who maybe had a bunch of beers and his taste buds raw and that's it. <laughs> I mean, you know, sometimes they write like it's, you know, completely, you know, objective to them. It's, it's not. Right? It's like, you know, it's so much of like, you know, like, okay. I mean, it, it is and it isn't, you know, I mean, somebody could tell them, what is the best beer ever made, and obviously, it's a fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> By the same token, you get a guy who, like, writes these books and says, I don't like this beer, this and that. Somebody else could walk along, the beer is great, you know, I mean, so if he likes the beer, who would you tell him that he doesn't like it? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of subjectivity here. Oh, sure. Yeah. And there's a lot of beer, you know, you drink a bunch of beer and you taste like you're off or whatever. Heck, I like different beers at different days. 
I mean, if you, if you travel to Europe and you're sitting in the beer garden, like one time I went to Argentina, I was hiking with a friend of mine, we hiked for a couple of days, and we come down, and we drank the Argentina, and it's like a bug, and it tasted freaking awesome. brainchild of the, oh no it's not, take that back, this is Hitao 1063, WPL 037, Yorkshire Square Ale. Please. I mean, if you're going to go get some good food, but all the time you're going to you know, pour us a filler light, then... Or ship your lot of lot of them, the ship there's got a lot of town right up now. I'm picking up ready notes on this one. Yeah. Bread with a hint of something. But I don't really want to predict that around this one. Yeah, more in line with uh, the first two we tried. A little more head on this one. Then. Yeah, I was just thinking that this seems to be very in your face uh, aroma. Yeah, there's a bready note coming right off. The yeah, and some of the fruitiness in the aroma as well, right up there. Yeah, bread and fruit. Not banana bread, but like mango bread or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's to call wow. it. Mm. And that comes through the flavor well, too. It's, um, it's a little over carbonated, but the mm. that that fruitiness, that manganess is right there. Yeah. You can kind of tell. It's 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 pretty 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 yeah. Compared to some of them, the you get kind of bready and malty. It's still coming I'm through. Still, I'm still coming. Yeah, because it's not, it doesn't seem as bitter like the that, that lingering bitterness that was there in yours is not here. Uh, it's, it's, I'd say even fruitier than, than yours. So when, when you that that fruit you pick up on the on the aroma. It follows through on the palate, and then it fades right away to that malt. I can the yep. malt malt. It does come through. Yep. Yeah, and the, the lingering kind of carbonation on the back of it. Yeah, it is slightly over carbonated. I think yeah, it may it may have finished that. it may have finished up in the bottle a little. Yeah. I like oh, this. I like this yeah. for a lot. This is my favorite. It's just, uh, this this one's your favorite? Yeah, yeah, favorite. 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 favorite in there. I can't. I can't. I can't. I think the fruitiness is almost a little too much, but it's nice, well balanced. Well, that's the difference yeah, of opinion yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah. So he liked this right. one the best. And yeah, I do. I mean, there's a flavor in there. I can't, I can't uh, mm. identify what it is, but uh, it's different than what I think they have had so far. Good. I like it. It's not, it's not a bad beer at all. I would probably use the teeth. Yeah. Yeah. You know, what do you use? Yorkshire Square. Twice. Uh, Yorkshire Square. Yeah, I know. It's quite lost, I think. What? Where, where's his bottle? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is always right there. Oh, okay. Oh, it's the name of the beer. It's the. It's the name of. Actually, no. This is Hitao's beer, but uh, he put Hokey Homebrew's experiment. This is uh, Fizzy's experiment. Yep. That's what I. Yeah, yeah. This one finished. Yeah, this one finished a little drier. I think he. I think this one finished. Well, like, you know, 1.0 zero, zero eight or something. Well, that's definitely that's the top of the range. Yeah. Well, I, no, it's in the range. It's just on the high end. But I don't taste any of the alcohol. No, at all. Most of them have been in the, the low to high six that we've drank so far. We'll just wait on it. Yeah, we all agreed on that, yeah. That little caramel in the beginning faded away. Like it. You guys get the same thing? Hmm. Nope. Well, we thought it finished a little drier than the others. Yeah. But. A bit of bitterness. Mm hmm. 
No more. Finishes dry. <laughs> 